and Alice Ayatch immediately taking up the frontrunner's role and has already bounded some five lengths ahead. Chernick, who often front runs, is just shading second as they meet the second fence. Apache Brave landed a couple of lengths off the second horse as they swing the corner and race downhill. A leading trio being hunted up by reasonable force. Mark was in someone in second, Chernick's last but one. So as they settle down, race on towards his third. Oakland's Bobby is going to beat it with a clear advantage, some four lengths in advance of Al Hussan, who's in turn several lengths up on the other trio. Apache Brave just third. Chernick is racing keenly and reasonable force is held up as they pop over the fourth. Final one in two more circuits time, but like Apache Brave got a bit close to that. So they come by us with the next fence being taken on the side of the track. All told it'll be number five. Oakland's Bobby held together in front by a couple being pursued by the headgear worn Alpha Sun just in front of Chernik who's made a couple of places on meeting the fence on the side of the track. Apache Brave landed in fourth and reasonable force at the back of the field. They've got three fences along the back straight in front of them, the middle of which is the open ditch. Oakland's Bobby from Alpha Sun, Chernik in third, Apache Brave and reasonable force. They pop over the first down the back. Now on towards the seventh. The open ditch. Oakland's Bobby, who jumped off with a clear advantage, retains the lead, but it's down to a length on meeting it from Alpha San. Apache Brave just at the middle of the turf in fourth position. We go on towards the next. No change in the leading duo. In fact, all positions are the same as they were a few moments back. So Oakland's Bobby is being pressed now by. On the inside, Alpha San with Chernik after a break of four lengths in third. The pace looks quite strong, much stronger than the earlier two races we've had. If Hunky Brave is in fourth place, would be maybe a dozen to 15 lengths off the leader, and reasonable force has always been out the back. So, disappearing from view, when they reappear, they'll be almost upon fence number nine, back into view now. And Alpha San and Apache Brave. Uh, rather, Oakland's Bobby are uh, in the dispute. Maybe Alpha San just in front of Oakland's Bobby. Chernick landed in third. Apache Brave is in fourth. And reasonable force. So, top of the hill again. Downhill they go on towards the two fences before they embark on their final lap of the race course. And sticking to the inside as they freewheel on the descent is Alpha San. Alpha San just in front of Oakland's Bobby. They mean the next as precious little. I think Oakland's Bobby was possibly the quicker in the air there. Chernick landed in third. He's well ahead of Apache Brave, who's getting some pressure applied. Reasonable force also being urged along. Oakland's Bobby was good at that fence in front of us and went on by a couple of lengths and now starting to take another keen hold under Alice Petch. Alpha San and Chernick second and third. Then this gap of half a dozen lengths to Apache Brave and reasonable force can't go any quicker at the moment as they make another left-hander up towards the first fence on the final lap. So, Oakland's Bobby, who was briefly headed, is back in front at the fence on the side of the course, but Alpha San is keeping him company. Chernick is closing the gap now to be only a length and a half off the Apache Brave continues, but is a dozen length off the lead. And then reasonable force. First of the fences along the back. Oakland's Bobby was good there. Gained that's another small advantage over his nearest pursuer to Alpha San. With Chernick closing, then Apache Brave in fourth. And reasonable force has pulled up before the first fence along the back. Now the open ditch for the final time. Oakland's Bobby by a length and a half over Alpha San. With Chernick just biding his time in third. Apache Brave continues, but he's getting ever remote at the fifth from home now. Let's see, faint fence after the open ditch. Oakland's Bobby from Alpha Sam and Chernick. For the first time, Chernick being urged along. The pace has been a good one from the start. These three remain a good 25 lengths in front of Apache Brave, who has never got into it as they come on the run behind the trees. Now, Oakland's Bobby is just in front of Alpha Sam, who is probably a length up on Chernick. These three are well out in front from Apache Brave, who is just about to disappear, probably 25 lengths off the leader. So they come back into view at the fence that was there first. It's now the fourth from home. Oakland's Bobby touchdown by a length, being followed in second place by 
Chernik with Alpha Sun dropping off them now three lengths away. Chernik is a challenger to Oakland's Bobby. Oakland Bobby though was very good at the third from home. His jumping has been pretty flawless at the top of the home straight. Chernik is driven to challenge. Alpha Sun is left behind in third place. They've still got the final two fences to take just over maybe 400 yards to race. There's a free wheel downhill Chernik towards the near side of Oakland's Bobby. These two scrap it out at the second last and it was Chernik perhaps just in front of Oakland's Bobby. They're well out in front from Alpha Sun and Apache Brave and Chernik is getting the better of the argument and he's driven into a clear lead approaching the final fence which he takes safely under Harry Bethel and it's Chernik the 13 year old kept up to his work Oakland's Bobby in second. Chernik from Oakland's Bobby in the ladies open. Alpha Sun has jumped the last and will complete for third and Apache Brave will take the final fence and will complete as a remote fourth. Thank you.